Today in this video, we're going to be doing some FE review for the civil section. And we're specifically going to be focusing on the engineering economics topic for today. So I have some practice problems for you all and I want to get straight into them. So I'm going to minimize my screen here and just want to put me there. All right. So if you're not familiar uh, with some of the videos that I've been creating, um, I have been going through each of the concepts that will be on your test. And specifically, we are in the end. Okay. Screen's fucking with me. <laughs> uh, we are in the engineering economics section and we are specifically talking about uncertainty today. Now, if you missed the analysis, which is the previous video that I just made, and this is some of my work from that, that I'm going to erase, um, please check out that video. I also have went over every other single concept up until this point. And it's important to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you have not, because I will be making content for every single topic. Yes, every single topic I'll be doing practice problems step by step. All right, so for this particular section, uncertainty, we're gonna be talking about expected value and risk. And so uh, our problem is down in the right corner. It says assume a drilling well costs $400,000. There are three probable outcomes. 70% probability that the drilled well is a dry hole. 25% probability that the drill well, the drilled well is a producer well with such rate that can be sold immediately at $2 million. $2,500,000. A 5% probability that the drilled well is a producer well with such rate that can be sold immediately at $4 million. Calculate the project's expected value. Okay, that was a mouthful, right? <laughs> that was a lot. So I, I, I always kind of go through and see for each problem, can I use my FE manual for this? And it's asking me to calculate the project's expected value. I don't know what that is. I'm just gonna quickly do a search for it. Expected value. And on your test, you're going to be able to use your FE manual and search through like you can literally find everything you need quickly. And that's this is crucial for you to be able to move through the test fast. So, all right, so now I'm just clicking through and going everywhere where expected value is found. OK, expected value in prob under probability and statistics seen a lot of them and we're covering engineering economics so i know that this stuff is not relevant and that is a lot of stuff god i hate those <laughs> those symbols all right so i feel like i'm getting closer I'm under engineering economics but it just lets me know ev means expected value all right expected value I'm still under engineering economics. EV is equal to C1, P1 plus C2, P2, and so on. All right. So what is C1? Each possible outcome. C1, C2, all. Okay. So I know that the possible outcome represents a probabilistic chance event. So 70% probability that the drill is this, 25% this, 5% this. Okay, cool. All right. So 
let's, uh, so I know uh, C1 and C, so this is the, like the chance that something can happen. So I know that for each of these individual things, 70% that, so I know my drilling well costs 400,000 and I know that there's a 70% chance that the value of this thing, I get nothing, right? I get a dry well, which is not what we want. 25% probability that the drill, I can sell it for $2 million. So I can have the cost of drilling can cost me 400,000 and then I can have 2 million. 500 instantly so there's a 25 percent chance there all right that's a pretty pretty decent chance okay so let's write some of this stuff out all right let's kind of skip the step so my initial cost please don't mind my handwriting is equal to 400, okay, 400,000, same thing. And then there are three problem. okay. So I have, so I have my formula, E, V is equal to, C1 P1 plus C2 P2 and so on. All right. C3. Okay, so what are what are these C1? So uh that's my cost one. So I know that um the cost is going to be, well, for a dry well, I'm not making any money from that, right? So any revenue that I generate minus my 400,000 is going to be my C1, right? All right, because I'm... I drilled, I didn't make any money from this drill, uh, and my overall, you know, cost is I'm in the hole negative 400K, and I have a 70% chance, so 70% or 70, uh, or you just want to divide that by 100 because you want to get it in decimal form. So, yeah, 70 divided by 100 is 0.7, right? Okay, that's that's C1 times P1. Okay, let's go on to C2, right? So this is get, I'm getting my expected value. And this is risky, right? We're drilling, so it's very risky. So. We're gonna add our C2. So uh, this is, you can see in part B, with such a rate that can be sold at $2.5 million, right? So that means we drilled and we made, it can be sold for $2.5 million, but we still lost the 400K. And then we had to multiply that by the prob that probability. It's gonna be 0.25. 
All right, this problem continues. So maybe I can drag it over a bit more. Um, but we just want to add, and it's going to have to come to the other side. Can't get this pin like I want it, but the the very last option is there being a five percent chance that it can be sold immediately for four million. So this is my uh, C two and P three. I meant C three and P three. I'm sorry. Okay. Four hundred. And every time I put K, it's just a thousand, four hundred thousand. All right. So now I can calculate my ex, uh, expected value. And I'm just going to put this in my calculator zero minus four hundred. And I'm getting a little messed up with my views. So for P1 and C1, that I'm down uh, 280,000. But then Yeah, my zero is there. We're bad. So please be careful with your zeros. I need two zeros and then three. Okay. And then minus 400. Okay. Times that by point two five. And I'm wondering that I'm going to add my last one, my P3. Oh, and something I forgot was my point zero five percent. Or zero zero zero. Two, two, three, and minus. Yeah, these numbers are messing with me today. Four hundred thousand, and then times it by 0.05 okay so i'm getting uh my expected value is 425000 dollars that's what i'm getting so let me in the let me know in the comments if this is the same thing that you get. Right now, I those zeros do throw me off sometimes. Um, but this is how you calculate it. You literally go through and get your uh, you know cost, and then multiply it by your probability, and you do that for everything until you get your expected value right so it's a lot of money uh, it's a really high chance though that you're gonna dig and get a dry well so <laughs> um, yeah and being that the cost I'm just looking at this just from taking a step back I mean if the cost of drilling is gonna be four hundred thousand 
either way. And then if I'm going through and seeing the probability of what I can, the expected value, what I can make, the it's looking like the max I'll be able to make is like 25,000. But putting in 400 to make back 25 grand, I don't know if that's, it's pretty risky, all right? So yeah, that that is it for um, this particular example. I do want to share uh, something with you all really quickly. So we've now gotten through engineering economics. We will now be uh, taking a step into statics. And my next video will be on resultant of four systems. So if you found some value out of this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and leave comments. Um, I, I do love your feedback, whether it's positive or negative, it's how you feel. So um, yeah, very excited to be pushing along. And oh yeah, there was something else. Um, don't forget to check out the description box below because there will be some useful resources like practice test uh, courses that can really help you um, get get this FE under your belt. So a lot of helpful resources. I'm going to put some more links to the practice problems, some extra practice problems. So be sure to check that out below. That is all for me. Um, I hope you all have a good rest of your day and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.